some uh, folks, it's time to bear it all. We're talking swimsuits, shorts, and other teeny tiny clothing. For others, the season's a reason to run and hide, keeping those legs that haven't seen the sun in who knows how long concealed. Even if you plan on keeping things relatively covered, at some point you're probably still going to want to break out the shorts. But for a lot of women and men, varicose veins can make it rather embarrassing. So this morning, as part of our Take Back the Year series, Claudia is going to show us how to love those legs again. How do you do it? Good morning, Gavir. You know, it's not just the tan that we have to worry about anymore. It's, you know, a lot of people worry about the veins. You know, what am I going to put on shorts and what am I going to do with these? This morning, we're at Maryland Vein Professionals. Dr. Jonathan Kalor here has been kind enough to show us this new procedure uh, called venous closure. And Marsha has been just willing enough to be the, be the patient this morning. And Marsha, you say you've been living with the veins for a while and today is like what? Christmas. Christmas, everybody. Well, that is all about to change. We're going to get rid of those veins, Marsha. But that is going to change for her. Take a look. You just you basically deal with them. You, you know, you wear capris and you deal with them. You take over the counter medicine. And Marsha Batista has spent much of her adult life hiding her legs. For years, she struggled with the appearance of her legs and the pain that comes with having bulging varicose veins. As the years go on, the pounds go on, the veins get worse. It was the itchiness and the achiness that, you know, we just finally had to have something done about it. That's when Marcia decided that she would have her legs surgically stripped. Stripping was the only way, and I didn't want to do that. Strip the furniture, strip the wallpaper, leave the legs alone. Having her legs stripped scared Marcia, so she turned to a treatment called venous closure. Using ultrasound, doctors position a catheter into the diseased vein through a small opening in the skin. The tiny catheter delivers radio frequency to the vein wall. The vein wall is heated, causing the collagen to shrink and the vein to close. I'd like to have my legs just not hurt, you know, just to not ache and not itch. After today's procedure, Marsha's varicose veins will be a thing of the past. I'm not looking for a Marilyn Monroe leg here. I'm just looking for something that will look nice and not bulgy. And welcome back. We're back at Maryland Vein Professionals, and Dr. Kalor is, does about a thousand, you said, of these a year? Five or six a day, six days a week. Oh, my goodness. So very, very popular. Um, how long does this procedure take, say, door-to-door? About two hours door-to-door. -door. Patients aren't actually having things done for two hours. Right. You know, we do some preparatory work. The actual treatment is about an hour, and the light treatment part is about 20 minutes. 20 time. minutes. 20 minutes. Is it painful at all? Because, I mean, when you talk about something like this, people really think, oh, I've heard stories. It hurts. Right. Unlike the old gruesome type of surgery you used mm -hmm. to do, this is a minimally invasive technique. Um, you know, no cutting. Uh, very little discomfort. Patients will feel some uh, pinches and some pressure, but usually nothing too bad. Okay, let's go to Marsha because Marsha's been so kind. To, you know, hey, hey, world, I'm going to do this live on camera and everything. You said you were considering this for quite some time. Yes, actually, I was scheduled to have this left leg stripped this past Thursday and decided not to do this. Yes. I'm going to do it a better way now. And could you believe that it could be so quick? I mean, and easy. You can go home. You get to go home and walk around after this, I right? Can I can take my daughter to soccer practice, I can go grocery shopping, I can drive myself here, I can drive myself home. That's, I, I, they're not going to put me to sleep, they're not going to cut me, they're not, I won't be recovering yes. for four weeks so I can have the other one done. Marsha, we're going to watch this live on the air this morning. <laughs> Thanks for your excited. <laughs> she's been so excited about this, she's been walking around all morning going, it's like Christmas, it's like Christmas. I've, she's been wanting to do this for so long. Uh, coming up next hour, we are going to show you how uh, fast uh, this procedure is, and we're going to actually have a clock counting down or counting up to how long it actually takes. <laughs> Dr. Kalur just rolled his eyes. He's like, great, no pressure, huh? Thank no you. pressure on you. Uh, but we are going to show everybody how quick and in and out this can be. So be sure to stay tuned for that. That's coming up next hour. Live. Revered Steve, back to you guys. Yeah, studio. Marcia is a brave soul for letting us uh, watch Isn't this live me? on television. And you know what is interesting, Claudia, is uh, her point that she made that this hurts, that the varicose veins actually hurt her. So we'll check in with you in just yeah. a little bit because for a lot of people, they think, ah, oh, it just looks bad. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes they do hurt and they can cause problems for people. So we do have some quick tips to uh, get your legs feeling a little bit better this morning. And here they are, first up exercise walking jogging and other leg movements can improve the circulation for you it's important to stay fit being overweight can add pressure to your veins so maybe you can try to lose a little bit of weight wear loose clothing because tight-fitting items can also lead to unnecessary pressure and coming up next hour we'll have more tips and also go 